Hello, I'm Luke O'Neill and here I am in my lab in the Trinity Biomedical Sciences Institute. A big story this week and it's all about which animals might get infected with COVID-2. As we know, humans are infected and a group has studied 410 different species. They've looked at the spike protein on the virus, of course, and then the thing it latches into. And when this virus infects you, it goes into your lungs and latches onto a protein called ACE2. They've compared ACE2 in humans to all these species to try to see which other species might be infected with the virus. And the trouble is, many other species might be infected. So for example, orangutans, gorillas, whales and dolphins all have a similar ACE2 and therefore there's a worry now they might get infected with the virus. What this means is zoos, for instance, are protecting those animals. Um, secondly, of course, some of them are endangered and there's a big worry now the virus might infect things like orangutans and threaten them and it's a very important discovery. And also this week, the big question still is where did this virus come from? And the latest evidence, it may not be China. The bats that live in Vietnam and Laos in particular may be a source of this virus. They're finding loads of different coronaviruses in those bats at the moment and they're very similar to SARS-CoV-2. Now what's interesting is uh, Vietnam turned out to be a place of very low level of infection. And the question is, were these coronaviruses in that population, say for years basically, are protecting those people? So it's a very interesting development. Did the virus actually come from Laos or Vietnam? And we're going to talk about something very important. What do you need to happen in your community to justify a lockdown? And in the UK, for instance, they're using a number of 50 per 100,000 in the community. If it reaches 50 or higher for a number of days, that might drive a lockdown. That's controversial. Scientists are wondering now what should that number be? And this may be extremely important, of course, for Ireland and many countries as we see the virus perhaps reemerge. You can hear about these stories and more with me on the Pat Kenny Show on News Talk this week.